the fluting of a mushroom requires a lot of practice. You know, sometimes years of practice. And it's almost totally useless. It takes you longer to learn how to fluit a mushroom than chopping properly, and that's more useful. In any case, you have to have a round mushroom, firm, white like this. There is different technique. One of them is to put your something and use your thumb as a pivot. As I'm doing here, going from the center of the mushroom to the outside to get that type of spiraling. It says, do you clean that up? And uh, you trim that up. And this is it. This is one way of doing it. There is different way. I use my thumb here as a pivot, like this. Some people, so this is the motion here. My thumb becomes the pivot here to go. Uh, some people, instead of doing that, take the knife this way and pivot this way which is exactly the same movement as you can see in the other way. One way or the other, uh, it's fine. Probably will take you longer to learn how to do that than how to shop properly. And that basically totally useless. But either way, it so there, when you finish your mushroom, you can cut it like that, that's probably much easier. You can carve a little fish if you want with it. So if you carve a fish here, you can take the outside out to put the fish into a relief. That's probably much easier to do. And uh, now I, I will mark that fish. Trim the outside. And just cut a piece of that fish. This is what you are going to use on top of the garnish, for example, a feeder of salt, and you use that to shop, to do a puree, to put underneath and garnish your fish on top with this. If you did not really get the center properly here, then you can press, use to press this out to create a star in the center and hide the mess that you did. You didn't get it right. That's one way of doing mushroom.